In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this pop-up cinematic title. Now, if you haven't already, the first thing you'll want to do is import your video footage straight into Premiere. Here, I'm using this drone clip and I've linked and credited to all of that in the description below. Now, I'm really excited to jump back into Premiere and create this title animation. Now, this is a really basic animation that works really well as a cinematic title. Now, the other thing I recommend doing is also downloading the font and I've also linked to that in the description below. Now, once you've downloaded and installed the free font, the next thing is I want to double click on my drone footage here and I want to find a part that I'm going to use for my opening title. Now, there's lots of good shots in here that you can actually use, but for my purposes, I'm going to use this part here. So I'm just going to create an in point by hitting I on my keyboard, and I'm also going to create an out point for this footage by hitting O on my keyboard. Then I can simply right click on that footage and just come down to new sequence from clip. Then that's simply just going to create a sequence which matches my footage settings. Now, just before we move on, if you're new to this channel, I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one, so maybe consider subscribing. And if you wanna see more of these Premiere Pro tutorials, maybe let me know the sort of tutorials you want to see in the comments section below. Now, once we've got this, what I'm actually going to do is I don't need the audio on this, so I can either just mute that, or I can simply hit Command L on my keyboard if I'm using a Mac, and simply just unlink that and delete it. So now I have this footage laid out. What I want to do is now add my title over the top. So we can simply do that by just coming over here to the title or the type tool, and then just simply select an area of my screen and I can simply just type out my text up here. Now, if I select that text, I want to be able to edit it. So I come over here to my effects controls. Now also keep in mind that I'm working inside the editing mode, but you may be working in a different mode. So just keep that in mind if things move around. So over here, you can now see that I have access to change the text settings. So what I want to do is actually come down here and use the font that I've already downloaded and installed, which is the Tall Films. Now again, you can also download that for free via the link in the description below. And the other thing I want to do is just scale this up. So I'm going to scale this up quite a bit. I'm also going to center my text by hitting this button here. And I can also just mess around by dragging this out here. And I find the more you actually space those letters, the more cinematic the text actually looks. So I find that actually spacing this out actually works a bit better. I'm also going to scale my title down very slightly here. And I'm going to go back to my selection tool and just drag this down and then just readjust this box so it sits nicely around my text. So at the moment when I actually play through, it doesn't look that great. It just kind of stays there on the screen and looks quite static. And we actually want to add a little bit of an animation as well as we're actually gonna put a scale animation over the top of this just to make it look a bit more cinematic. Now, just before I do that, what I'm actually going to do is just come over here to the end of my timeline and just hit O on my keyboard. That's going to create an out point. And another little tip here inside of Premiere is that when I actually hit play, you can notice that it doesn't actually loop. So I want my video to actually loop on that specific part of my video over and over again. Now, this is actually a really common question that I get. How do you actually loop video? There's a really simple way. You actually just come over here and you can see on this bar over here on the right, there's a little plus button. Then up here, you can see that there's one called loop playback. Now these are all buttons that you can actually add onto that bar below and you can use them when you need them. But I just find that this loop playback one, if I just drag this down here and place it anywhere and hit okay, when we actually get to the end, you can see that just simply loops the playback. So there's a little tip if you didn't know how to do that. Okay, so now back at the start, I want to actually animate my text popping up. So what we're going to do with that text selected is I'm actually going to come back over to the effects controls and I'm going to select this button here. It's going to create a mask that goes around the outside of my text. Now, all we need to do here is actually just select these two points and I'm holding shift on my keyboard to try and keep them as level as possible. Then I'm going to select these two and just drag these ones out as well. Then with my bottom two selected, I'm going to drag these up 
so that they sit level directly under my text. Now it's really important that you try and get that as flat or as level as possible because that will affect how the text actually animates in. So once you've got that in a position that you're happy with, we're going to come back over here and with my playhead back here at the start, I'm going to create a position keyframe. Then I'm going to come across to probably about this one second mark. You can use this time code down here on the left create another keyframe here. And with that first keyframe selected, I'm just going to drag down on this Y position. Now when I actually play through, you can see that my text slowly animates up. Now I can actually speed that up or slow that down by dragging this keyframe in and out. The other thing I can do is also select both of them and come down to the easy ease out. That's just gonna create a bit of a softer animation. I'm just gonna speed this up by dragging it even closer. And you can see that we've now got a really nice animation to our text. Now, one really cool thing here is that now that we've created that animation, if you started to mess around with the size, it can also mess that animation up because you're moving your title outside of that mask. But here's the really cool thing. If you come up to the top here, and actually use the motion tab to actually change the scale and positioning. If I was to scale this up, you'll notice it doesn't actually mess that animation up because it's scaling the entire text layer rather than just that text layer with the mask separate. So what we're actually going to do is come up here to our motion tab, create a position and a scale keyframe at the beginning. I'm going to go across here on my video to roughly the end here and then create another two keyframes. I'm going to scale this up to around 108. And the other thing I'm going to do is I want my text to almost stay in this position here on the screen. So what I can actually do is if I come over to that second keyframe here, so I'm in line with that, and actually just drop this down very slightly, just until I'm in line with roughly where I am at the start, you can see as I play through, it almost seems to be more motion tracked into my footage. Now you can exaggerate that even more by scaling that up or even shrinking that down more, depending on the look that you're actually going for. The other good little tip here is with cinematic titles, I find that more negative space or more empty space around your text title makes it look more cinematic. So there you go guys, that's how you make this cinematic title inside of Premiere. If you like this video and you want to see more of these videos, maybe put a comment down below with the sort of video that you want to see in the future. And if you like this video, maybe consider giving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.